The uh, manual on this says the center of gravity will be 348 millimeters from the nose, which comes out to about 13.7 inches. Um, it's about a quarter inch behind the seam of where your wires are running and your wing spar on this foam strip. Set your model on the floor, put a ruler there. It's a little under 13 and uh, 3 quarters of an inch. I cut a little section of uh, bamboo skewer and uh, pushed it into the wing right here. The plane will balance on your fingertips a lot easier. Just put your fingers on these little bamboo skewers and it'll balance. Don't try to balance your plane out, at, out in the field. Do it in your garage, do it in your basement, do it in your workshop where there's no wind, um, you're not out in the sun being, you know, getting sunstroke or anything. Take your time and balance it. Make sure it's balanced correctly. That, that'll, that, that, I think that was nine tenths of my problem was it this was not balanced correctly and it ended up in a, a major rebuild of my Bixler. But you can see I put bright orange tape on this. Uh, put white duct tape on the bottom. It does wrinkle up a little bit, but you know, you don't really notice it. Put orange duct tape on the leading edge. Ran duct tape down the sides. Put duct tape over the reinforcement spar here on the tail. Built a center of gravity stand to help me uh, find the center of gravity. These are just uh, seven inch dowels drilled into the 2x4. So I got my Bixler to balance correctly, finally. With all the uh, added tape and the uh, glue on the nose, it was uh, with the battery all the way forward, it was really nose heavy. So I had to move things around and scoot the battery about halfway back. See the jumble of wires here. I've got my transmitter all the way back here. I've got a gyro for the ailerons, and then I've got a gyro on the elevator. I have an orange RX 3-axis stabilization coming in the mail, but it has to come all the way from Hong Kong. But the battery is, um, it used to sit all the way forward, but now it has to sit farther back because all this reinforcement here added a lot of weight to the nose. Each one of these uh, glue sticks is about one ounce in weight. You can see the flaps in operation. This is uh, with no delay on it. I'll probably add about one second of delay so it comes down nice and smooth. You can even add more. There's two seconds. Kind of slow. Want my flaps to be a little more responsive. About one. One second is fine. You see how the motor pushes the nose down, so you kind of have to trim the plane a little up elevator. I may buy a new fuselage for it in the future when I uh, crash and burn this thing a million times. Uh, it's like 17 bucks on Hobby King. Always balance your plane correctly. I learned the hard way. I wouldn't have had the uh, nose in crash if I had balanced it correctly. From the nose in crash, I noticed that my aileron would not adjust correctly and it was always in the up position, so I had to make a kind of a little Z bend here to take up the slack. So when this hit the ground, it kind of compressed the foam. So the, <laughs> now my entire plane is a little shorter. So I had to adjust the uh, elevator uh, control rod accordingly to make this line up.